42. It's the so-called meaning of life, according to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 42 degrees is known as the rainbow angle, due to the physics involved when the sun hits a raindrop. 42 is the sum of the first two non-zero integer powers of six. I don't know what that means, but it sounded important when I googled interesting facts about the number 42. But more relevant to this video, it's also the approximate distance of a marathon. And it also happened to coincide with the age I was about to turn on my next birthday. Hence, a birthday marathon. So I mapped out a 42 kilometer route starting and ending at two different childhood homes, traveling across North County, San Diego, visiting places I grew up along the way. Here we go. House number one, 42 kilometers. Let's go. And here we go. Encinitas, California. It's a small, quirky beach town in San Diego County. It's where my mom and I lived when I was ages three to eight. It was just the two of us. My biological father was out of the picture when I was about one, so we lived with family in Los Angeles, where my mom was from until we moved down to Encinitas. It's funny to think we started in a town that's now become so expensive and high-end. 39 years ago, it was a bargain, but by today's relative prices, there's no way we could have afforded it. In fact, that same little condo you just saw me standing in front of now rents for almost $7,000 a month. To buy it would be well over a million. Now I know just how tight money was for my mom and I back then. I had no idea at the time. I just remember being happy spending time with my mom and our family and friends. Here we go, running through Encinitas, making it our way to the next house, house number two. There we go, house number two. On to the next, let's get started. So this apartment complex is place number three. This was the house where I slept walk and broke out of the house in the middle of the night sleepwalking. I also hallucinated in this house and saw a bunch of bugs that weren't there from some medicine that I took. There you go. House number three. Moving on to the next. I was so excited to see a manhole cover off on a drain, so I've always wondered what they look like in there. So disappointing. Playing some soccer. Go! All right, we're about five miles in. I'm thinking a burrito from El Pollo Loco sounds pretty good. A little road Pollo Loco. Might be a bad idea, I don't know. We'll see. Burrito time. Oh yeah. Mmm. That tastes good. Oh. Here we go. We got across the street. Burrito. As much as I wish this was my original idea to run 42K on my 42nd birthday, I was inspired to do this run by the great Aussie adventurer and filmmaker, Bo Miles, who did this very thing. Running has been important to me for much of my life. Growing up playing soccer, I was known as the kid that could run the whole game and never get tired. In junior high, I was upset I got the second fastest mile time and it still haunts me to this day. Kyle Combe, if you're out there, I'd like a rematch. 
In my 20s and 30s, running in races of various distances became primary sources of both fitness and community. Now in my 40s, it's become my escape from the rat race of everyday life and a way of finding adventure and self-discovery in the face of an aging, injury-prone body. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Made it. Made it without injury, I think. Oh. Well, I knew it would start raining at some point. I could see it coming. Starting to sprinkle a little bit, and you can see it that way. Come in my direction. It's gonna get wet. But we'll keep going and we'll be fine. Wait. We'll just be wet. I can't wait. Wait, wait. No! Oh. She is. Thank you, Lorraine. What's up, guys? I'm now in San Marcos, which is back to the town where I live right now, currently. Spent a lot of time. We're going to visit a couple houses here. I'll give you a little glimpse. San Marcos is special to me. Not only did I spend time growing up here, but it's also where I live now and where my daughter has spent most of her life so far. We actually went to the same school, only decades apart. That same school is where I first got to walk or ride my bike to school. It's where I had my first girlfriend and I used to walk her home after school, which my mom had no idea about, I think. The house we lived in at the time is where my mom got remarried when I was eight and we all moved in together. I made close friends with the next door neighbors, got my first pets, and it was the first place we had our own pool. Years later, the same town would be where my wife and I had our first date, where we rented our first place together, and nine years ago, where we bought the house we live in today. Dare I get another burrito? Mmm. Delicious birthday burrito fuel. Here we go. In Bo's birthday marathon video, he had a brilliant line that captured how I feel about running as I get older. The older I get, running is about defining mortality. To run is to feel your age. Little did I know, going into my own birthday marathon, just how relevant this sentiment would turn out to be. So I'm pretty concerned. My left knee is starting to hurt. Oh, I'm hoping it's just something I can work through and keep running. We'll see, wish me luck. Left side of my knee is on fire. Pretty concerned that if I keep running on it, it's just gonna, get actually injured. Luckily, I had planned my route so that my current house was just a bit past the halfway point in case I needed to stop for any reason. Thankfully, this gave me the option to get home and reassess how bad my knee was and go from there. Quick status update. I'm home, reassessed the situation, changed in some dry clothes, dry socks, and my knee is quite sore. No way I could run the rest of the way without really injuring it. So I made the decision to finish still by riding my bike. I'm gonna bike the rest of the way and make this happen. Here we go. We're uh, coming up here soon on the next house, almost at the top of this hill. And we'll keep going forward. Not gonna stop. 
House number, I don't even know at this point. I've lost track. But we're on to the next one. Here we go. We are walking the bike up another hill. I tell you what, I am not a cyclist. I can feel it <laughs> in my legs. So, unfortunately, some bad news and a major change of plans. Just kidding, I just happened to be riding by the hospital in the emergency room. I'm just fine. All good. Okay, we're at the final leg here. We are here at Lake Hodges. Lake looks beautiful. And to get to the final house, I actually have to hike up this hill. Hopefully my knee does okay. And here we go with just enough light left, I think. We're gonna go up that trail, up there to that street, around those houses. Ooh, that's a tender knee. Glad I did not try to run the rest of the way. But hey, we don't let that stop us. Glad the bike worked out. Glad I had air in the tires. It's kind of nice doing this last part up a trail out in nature Whew. keep trucking so we're coming up on the house here it's right up there actually there we go that's the house all right almost at the end you look at my watch here we got to almost 26.2 means we're gonna have to huff it a little bit make it to the end it's got to be the full marathon 26.242 K let's make it let's go all right there it is 26.2 miles made it to the end <laughs> had some challenges throughout the day that's for sure definitely uh, planned to run the whole thing you gotta do what you gotta do. Figure things out, keep going. So we made it. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Until next time.